Hi, good afternoon, guest 12. Um, I'll be discussing the next part of your lesson now, lesson 6, which is the National Artists of the Philippines. Uh, so there are many artists, uh, national artists in the Philippines. However, I'll, I'll be just focusing on a few ones. So we will not dwell uh, on this with so much time. The, all right. The, first off, let's try to define what is national artist. So, okay, national artist of the Philippines, or it's the highest award given to Filipino artists in music, dance, theater, visual arts, literature, film, broadcast arts, uh, broadcast arts, and architecture architecture and allied arts. So, since literature ang pinag-aaralan natin, magpo-focus tayo sa mga national artists under literature. So, let's start with the first one. The first one is known as Francisco Arceliana. He is from the National Capital Region. He was born on September 6, 1916. He died on August 1, 2002. He was the fourth among 18 siblings. Ang dami nila, no? 18. Uh, his wife was Emerenciana Yuviencio. He is one of the progenitors of the modern Filipino short story in English. Pag sinabi nating progenitors, siya yung nag -umpisa. Siya yung Ano, nag siya yung nag originate uh, okay he won a second place in 1951 Don Carlos Palanca Memorial Awards for Literature and was proclaimed as National Artist of the Philippines in Literature on June 23, 1990 um, di pa ako pinanganak kasi June 24, 1990 ako pinanganak that time uh, okay, naglilabor pa lang si nanay ko Alright, next uh, Notable works of um, Francisco Arceliana The Flowers of May um, Yung Flowers of May It's about a family naman na, Ang story niya ay tungkol sa isang pamilya Na um, Ano siya nag, Nagdadalamhati Nagdadalamhati um, dahil sa pagkawala ng kanilang anak na si Victoria. Of course, lahat naman tayo, whenever uh, someone uh, dear is uh, uh, taken from us or namatay, uh, lahat tayo talagang magmumorn or talagang magdadalamhati. So, yan yung isa sa notable work niya. And then, second is yung The Mats, uh, which is a story of Filipinos telling the uh, telling how strong our family ties are. Of course, we as Filipinos, we always say that uh, we have a close family uh, knit, uh, kumbaga very, very family knit tayo or very close tayo sa mga pamilya natin na minsan pati mga extended extended family natin, kasama natin sa bahay, o kaya kapag di ba kapag may mga okasyon, yung mga reunion, okay, so that's how strong our family uh, ties are na kapag kahit na ang layo-layo uh, kapag reunion, dapat talagang pumunta uh, Alright, the next one is Edith L. Siempo. She is from Cagayan Valley. He was, uh, she was born on April 22, 1919 in Buyongbong, Nueva Vizcaya. Her husband is Edilberto K. Tiempo and she died on August 21, 2011. He was proclaimed or she was proclaimed as a National Artist of the Philippines for Literature in year 1999 what are her notable works the first one is the lament of the little marmoset it talks about the sorrow of being impressed imprisoned in the condition of human cause by the death of uh, loved ones sabi nga nila too much love will uh, too much love will kill you uh, all right so this one is when someone is actually when you lost someone limbawa kayo uh, if nakipag-break kayo sa mga jowa ninyo all right and uh, mahal na mahal na yung jowa ninyo kaya namatay yung meron kasi kaming estudyante last hindi ko alam kung last year yun um, na namatay yung kanyang uh, boyfriend ata yun or girlfriend dahil sa ano sa sakit so um, no one is prepared when it comes to death actually walang prepared po doon so this one uh, dito pinag-uusapan kung ano ba the yung ano yung tinatawag na um, nararamdaman ng isang tao na namatayan ng isang minamahal sa buhay 
do. Alright? The next is, ito pala yun yung Too Much Love Will Kill You. It is a poem which is talking about people who are so much in love but find it difficult to control love. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na Too Much Love Will Kill You dahil sometimes when we love, sometimes ang sabi nila bulag ang pag-ibig dahil nga um, we are not aware that our actions uh, uh, our actions are are not are not uh, in the norm uh, wala na siya sa normal kumbaga um, dahil nabubulagan ka sa sobrang pagmamahal di mo na masya makontrol so yun yung ano yung bonsai to all right next one is bienvenido lombera he is from region 4a he was born on april 11 1932 buhay pa din po siya father's name christian lombera mother's name carmen lombera and he was proclaimed as national artist in literature on april 2006 and he also won carlos palanca awards uh, hindi ko na nilagyan to ng ano ng uh, notable works uh, Next, uh, NVM Gonzalez. Kilalang kilala po yan si NVM Gonzalez from Mimaropa region. To, uh, he was proclaimed as national artist on year 1997, born September 18, September 8, 1915, and he died on November 28, 1999. I was nine years old at that, at that time. Notable works, yung Seven Hills Away. It's the, ano naman to, tungkol dun sa mga kaingero. Yung kaingero, sila po yung mga nasa, ano, nandun sa bundok na nagsusunog which is ang kaingin actually is very bad with very bad sa ating environment uh, okay next notable work of him is the bread of salt uh, the story of a boy who is uh, always buying a pandesal di ba sa atin sa mga Pilipino very uso ang uh, pandesal uh, kung maalala niyo yung pumapasok pa kayo diyan sa may ano sa may baldos, meron tayong pandesal at masarap kapag mainit so, yun po yung notable work niya okay uh, bali mabilis lang kasi itong ano tong slides na to because we will just be tackling about national artists hindi na, hindi na natin siya masyadong i, ano, i, mag present lang ako ng facts uh, so, Virgilio S. Almario from Region 3 he was born March 9, 1944 spouse uh, or asawa Emilina B. Soriano pen name Rio Alma Boy pa rin po siya hanggang ngayon and he was declared um, as national artist on June 25, 2003. Kanyang ano, uh, notable work is Palipad Hangin, a satirical poem about his break from feud with colleagues and his personal belief in politics. So personal ano niyan to, personal opinion about politics. Uh, next uh, is Alamat at Historia. It's about the uh, making and what is about myth? What is about reality? Between what's the difference between myth and reality? All right. Next, we have uh, Cirilo F. Bautista, born July 9, 1941, from National Capital Region. He was proclaimed as national artist on year 2014 in literature. Notable works: we have the trilogy of Saint Lazarus, a project that took him 30 years to finish. Imagine 30 years niyang tinapos yung book na to yung kasi trilogy naman siya. Pero it doesn't uh it it uh, kumbaga ano hindi siya ganun kadali kasi poem siya tapos uh, na kinumpile sa isang book to, okay and then we have uh, uh, another one yung galaw ng asoge to, okay that was written by that was written by Cirilo Bautista as well Next, Nick Joaquin, born May 4, 1917, died April 29, 2004. He was proclaimed as uh, the national artist uh, on year 1976 at nilibing po siya sa libingan ng mga bayani. So, next, uh, work po niya yung summer solstice. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo nung uh, previous lesson natin na ano, Tum sumayaw sila sa ilalim ay si sa ilalim sumayaw sila sa ano may balete kasi nga hindi sila magkaanak uh, so ang ginawa nila um, ano siya uh, pumunta sila sa isang place na may balete para doon eh sumayaw para uh, magkaroon ng isang anak at ang adaptation po niyan ang ex ang ano niya ang title ay tatarin 
to. Okay, next, we have Amado V. Hernandez. Tinagurian din po siyang manunulat ng manggagawa. Actually, sineselebrate siya lagi tuwing May 1 kasi siya yung nakipaglaban para sa mga manggagawa. He was born September 13, 1903. He died March 24, 1970. And he was claimed as national artist on year 1973. One example of notable work is yung mga ibong mandaragit. It's about the Japanese guerrilla. Okay, next one is we have Lazaro Francisco. He was born on September 13, 1903 in Tondo, Manila. Died March 24, 1970. Proclaimed as national artist in the Philippines on year 2009. Example ng kanyang work ay yung sugat ng alaala. It's about the Japanese time as well. Anong buhay noon. Uh, about kay Anita kung paano siya niligawan, paano nag-confess yung manliligaw niya and everything. Uh, okay next one we have F. Chanel Jose ito sariling atin to kasi taga Pangasinan siya so, he was born on December 3, 1924 buhay pa rin po siya nasa Rosales, Pangasinan the year uh, he was born as he was proclaimed as national artist on year 2001 and he is a fiction writer notable works example my brother my executioner tungkol sa dalawang magkapatid na the uh, uh, nag-away the okay next we have don vicente um uh, tungkol naman ito sa kanyang ano sa kanyang hometown which is yung rosales uh, okay next one we have carlos p romulo he was born on june 4 1898 he died december 15 1985 and he is the co-founder for the boy scout of the philippines uh, okay Sinulat niya yung I saw the fall of the Philippines. Uh, okay, I saw the rise of the Philippines, my brother America, and the uh, I see the Philippine rise. Uh, next one we have Jose Garcia Villa from National Capital Region. He was proclaimed as national artist on year 1973, born August 4, 1914, and he died on February 7, 1997. Uh, okay. Um this one is his work actually to is isa sa pinakasikat na work niya kasi this is one of uh, an advice yung mga advices niya kasi to sa mga teenagers di ba maraming mga teenagers na nagkakaroon or kinakasal ng maaga or um, nabubuntis ng maaga so itong footnote kaya footnote to youth kasi di ba yung footnote paalala sa mga kabataan uh, all right. Next, uh, we have Alisan Alejandro Roses from National Capital Region. He was proclaimed as national artist on year 2003, a short storyteller, and he died on May 23, 2011. Um, Notable works like Something to Crow, a collection of Alejandro short stories. So, okay, and then we have Rolando Estino from National Capital Region. He died July 7, 1997. He is a poet, dramatist, and a director. Last but not least is Levi Celerio. Siya po yung pinaka unang tao na naitala sa Guinness Book of Record na kayang gumawa ng musika gamit ang... Um, Ano, gamit yung dahon ng halaman. So, he was born April 13, 1910 and he died on April 2, 2002. Proclaimed as national artist uh, in the Philippines for literature and music on 1997. Just a disclaimer, photos that were used in this presentation are not mine. Credit to the rightful owner. So this is gonna be your lesson for national artists. Uh, for the following ones, we will be focusing on um, writers from Region 1 or from Pangasinan. Duh, okay. Good afternoon and have a nice day.